Hi guys, we're back in August and I have five tapes to show you today, uh, including, I would say, two or three which are extremely rare, including one that is absolutely unique. So let's dive into this. <music> Hello guys and welcome back to the channel. Uh, today I have some tapes to show you. Again, you know, I keep the promise that I will change the channel, move on to some posters and other stuff. Well, I have a very good news for you guys about this is that I finally was able to make a, uh, an eBay account. And the whole thing is was because of their, they have their new policy because they don't use PayPal anymore, they use uh, what is called Payoneer and being in Korea, this is kind of like very difficult to kind of approve. Anyway, long story short, I finally have an eBay account now uh, as a seller. So I'll be able to sell some stuff there. And this is where I want to show you and expand with the perhaps some video games, some Korean games and of course the Korean game posters, which is the whole thing that I kind of wanted to start this year where well i think now it's time but anyway uh this is for another video like i keep saying the video today is about videotapes uh, as usual uh, and let's start off with the first one right here this is a tape that is already sold i have to send it by the end of the month uh, it's called abducted bride but if you are knowledgeable about these older films because this is a 19 i think 74 film i totally forgot because it's a film i've never seen i've heard a lot about it uh, apparently it's very good for what it is uh, but i've never seen it yet i think it's gonna i'm gonna put it on my list to to watch uh it's actually called the sinful dwarf that's the uh, perhaps the most common title for that uh, movie uh, if you've seen the movie, by the way, uh, leave a comment. Let me know if it's actually that great. Uh, I know the person who's buying it said it, it's, it's actually a, one of his classic. He likes it. So uh, I, I'll take his word for it because we kind of have like similar taste for like uh, those cult films. Uh, so yeah, so this is the Sinful Dwarf. Um, again, maybe from the back, it's a bit more obvious because let's focus here. So you have the dwarf here. That, so maybe they're like a bit more like imagery that uh, tags along with the film because from the front cover it's not really obvious uh, i may have passed this tape in the past uh, i will I, I i'm pretty sure because it's i mean you look at this and you're like okay maybe this is kind of like a some drama or something it's, it's not too clear and the cover doesn't like really stands out uh, so that would be one of the reasons why I may have never seen that in the past. But I, I don't actually recall because this label here is quite rare. So all along, maybe I've never seen it. It's just I don't recall having seen this. Uh, so anyway, it's very rare. Uh, as I said, uh, 1970s uh, horror film uh, from Europe. I think it's was it from Sweden or somewhere like this. Uh, Sin Sinful Dwarf, the copy is actually pristine, it's beautiful mint condition. If you look on the spine, of course, there's actually no sun fade whatsoever, the green and the green. The red is red, the yellow is yellow, everything is very beautiful. Um, look at this, the corners are sharp right here, right there. I mean, this white but I mean, it's perfect condition. Original clamshell as well. I believe it's a, well, it's a no name brand. I mean, this, they don't have like many movies. So I would believe that this is the original clamshell, like a black one. It's actually pretty nice. Uh, on the back as well, beautiful copy. And of course, if we look inside, look at this tape, it's, it's mint. I mean, it's clearly mint, it's never been played. There's still even like this little tab here uh, for you not to tape over. I should actually remove it, but anyway, I sold it as is, so I'm not gonna touch it unless maybe the buyer actually say, oh, please remove it. But I mean, it's something you can remove yourself, so whatever. Uh, so yeah, here it is, a beautiful, pristine condition of a movie that I've never seen and a tape that I've never seen in the past. And I'm actually very thrilled to have found, uh, well, a, a, a totally mint copy of this. It's kind of mind blowing, to be honest. Okay, now the next stuff I'm going to show you are late releases. So 
the people in my channel that are into the late releases, I think you're gonna feast your eyes on what I will have uh, for you next. Uh, the first one is nothing too crazy. Uh, the movie is called Street Dance 3D, or perhaps that's just Street Dance Part 3, but happens to be 3D. Why? Because this is a very late release. It's, uh, let me check, I think it's May, no, not even, it is uh, September 8, well, let me, let me just focus, I mean, why not? So it is September 8, 2010, and as we all know, the American movies were released until late December, so this is very late in the VHS cycle. Um, so yeah, that's the reason I, I took it, to be honest, not because this is kind of, this movie genre is not like that popular with usually with collectors uh, but since it, it falls into the 2010 categories of late releases and a late one as well like September uh, that's why I took it oh yeah and to go back with the 3d thing is because again uh, going back I think yeah it was like 2009 2010 was when 3d was like this big thing with the 3d televisions that you have like those uh, sync um, uh, eyeglasses that, that would go with them that had like a shutter inside if, because they were hooked up to the TV so they would produce like pretty decent 3D uh, imagery. Uh, so anyway, this film, Street Dance 3D, I don't think it's 3D because this is just the VHS of, of course. Um, it's from the Planis label, so another Planis uh, tape or Plenty, how, however you, you mention it. Uh, the tape is, I mean, the sleeve is totally unfaded, I think. I mean, blue is blue, red is red, everything looks fine. Same thing on the back. But I mean, that's what you, you would obviously expect from a 2010 or even like above 2005 tapes because, I mean, come on, they're not that crazy old after all. Uh, they're getting up there, but not yet, right? Uh, so yeah, it's in pretty good condition. Same goes for the cassette. I will clean it anyway, but yeah, tape is... Uh, I didn't touch it, by the way. It came like this, so super clean. Same goes for the cassette. Uh, plastic, there's no cracks anywhere, so that's good. And I think the late plan is... I, I was discussing that yesterday with um, Korea Disco uh, guy. Um, we were just having, you know, talking about those clamshells and everything, but I think the Planis um, late clamshells didn't have the Planis uh, engraved in, into them. It's just like for like maybe earlier ones. I uh, could be wrong, we could be wrong. Anyway, we, we were talking about that and we kind of came to the conclusion that perhaps the late ones like didn't have the logo on, on the clamshell itself. Uh, anyway, in my case, this one came like this, and as you can see, there are no logos. Uh, there's no logo, uh, same on the inside. So anyway, I'll take it as it is. Um, and also, the planets, uh clamshells are kind of hard to find, I mean, with the logo. So I don't know if I'm going to chase one or not, but for now, I'm just going to leave it as that. Uh, so yes, yeah, Street Dance. If you're not familiar with the film, I'm not, by the way. I think it was kind of a... Um, a movie that would run up against the movie, uh, what was it called again? Step Up, Step Up 1, Step Up 2, Step Up 3, and they all came out around the same time, all post-2006. I think Step Up 1 was 2006, uh, and they went up to, now I think there's like five movies. Again, I don't follow that, but I just kind of quickly checked. Uh, and in Korea, same thing, maybe they went up to Step Up three on VHS because that movie came out 2010 and so did Street Dance. Uh, so I think, yeah, Street Dance was kind of like the, the lower <laughs> lower budget version of Step Up, uh, but still like, you know, looming into the 5.8 out of 10 Metacritics or IMDb rankings. So uh, it's not like a straight up, straight to video trash but it's not that amazing but anyway all around late release i don't know if you ever seen it if you haven't i'm glad you can feast your eyes on a, another very late release from 2010 because those are kind of really cool to have okay let's move on next it's something that you've seen before so no surprises here although it's been a very long time in my case that i had a copy in hand uh, again, going back to uh, Korea Disco, I think he had a few in the past 
I don't know, in the past year maybe, um, because he's hardcore on checking for that stuff online and everywhere. Uh, I'm not, I have a lot of things to do. Uh, but anyway, that aside, uh, Kung Fu Panda, uh, this is an English version. Let's check on the spine. So this is uh, the English version with Korean subtitles, which makes this uh, quite hard to find now. You can still perhaps sometimes find uh, the sub copy, but me and again, Korea Disco, we look pretty much everywhere in Korea, pretty much everywhere in Korea in like online. And now it, they're hard to find, okay? Uh, so if you do find one even sub, then this is a movie you want. I would say grab it because they're getting hard to get. And the demand doesn't stop as well. There's still high demand for those things because they're animation, late animation, I don't know. There's a hype for that. Uh, again, here it has like some damage here at the top. Uh, but overall, the rest of the, uh, a little bit here as well, but the rest of the sleeve is quite clean. So I'm very happy about that. And especially the spine. The spine as like, again, the green is green. If there's any sun fade, it's really hard to notice. Uh, could be that the yellow is not as popping as on the front, uh, but otherwise it is a very nice copy color wise, uh, which is hard to find now, regardless of the tape, I should say. Um, yeah, of course, it had like a bit of stain here on the back, but doesn't, you know, doesn't show too much. Again, it is some kind of like moldy thing. I cleaned it up, I mean, with uh, rubbing alcohol, but it's kind of stained now. But it's again, it's just on the corners. It's not too crazy bad. The tape is clean. The tape plays well. I guess that's the most important thing. And again, it is the English version, which is very hard to find now. Uh, one more thing, this tape is sold. So if you looking at this video and you're like, oh my God, I want it. Well, I'm sorry, it's too late. It's already been sold. Uh, someone asked me for it. I did find it. So now it's going to that person. Okay, now uh, the two next tapes are very, very rare. The next one is very rare because of its state. Uh, so <clears throat> we have cars. Again, you've seen cars before. Uh, you've seen it probably online on eBay being sold a couple of times uh, in the past two years. Uh, it's a very, very popular title. Nowadays, like a lot of people want to have the English version, rightfully so, of course, because we all want the English, you know, language version. This is a, Co a Korean uh, dub, but what's so special about it, of course, it's sealed. Uh, I don't know if, I think I've never seen a sealed, I mean, I've probably seen sealed copies back in the days when I couldn't care less, uh, but in this day and age, in 2024, finding a sealed copy of this is beyond impossible, I should say. Uh, they've been trashed or they've been opened up, of course. They've been watched, uh, but this is a sealed copy. That's why I picked it up. It wasn't cheap, uh, but I think uh, the chances of me finding another one are just nil, okay, at this moment, at this point. So that's why I picked it up. So let's, let's, um, let's focus on it a little bit more. So as you can see, we have uh, the, uh, what is it called? Buena, well, okay, yeah, because it's kind of erased here, but uh, Buena Vista uh, home video. Uh, yeah, Buena Vista home video. And you even have it in Hangul right here in Korean uh, letters with the Disney logo. So this is their watermark. So as you can see, it's not the reseal. It is an original sealed, uh, Disney product from South Korea with the Disney logo. You even have right here their little hologram. And uh, maybe again, I don't know if you can notice that because I, well, I don't have like a, well, I'll put the tape next to it, right? Let's, let's put the Kung Fu Panda. So as you can see, right, the size difference. So the size difference is like a small clamshell. This is a regular big clamshell. So the big ones were for rentals, or those are the most common ones you find everywhere. But of course, there were a few tapes uh, that came out like this for sale. And this one is a sell-through copy. Uh, 
Um, again, that's probably the only reason why I find this tape sealed because the rental ones, it's kind of almost impossible to find those sealed because people would, would order them, the video stores, of course, they would open them up to rent them. So it's, it's nearly impossible to find that sealed, right? I mean, I did find some big boxes sealed, but they were like titles that no one cares about. Uh, but anyone, anyone. Anyway, this one is uh, a sell-through copy, so that's why it's a smaller box. It's Korean, Korean um, audio, so Korean dub. Um, I've heard that apparently there's, I mean, as a sell-through, another one that exists is an English copy with English subtitles. I don't recall having seen that again because I've never really looked into that, uh, but it makes sense for the point of view of, let's say, a Korean person who would want to learn English, because then you learn English by listening plus reading the subtitles that, you know, translates what is being said. So it makes total sense. Uh, but I've never seen that copy floating around. Actually, again, the sell-through copies, this is my first Disney sell-through copy that I actually find. You know, usually I would find, let's say, cars in the big boxes. Uh, so yeah, this is a small one, sell true, uh, pretty mint I should say, I mean look at this, there's no sun fade on the spine whatsoever, so this is a, uh, it is an air mint copy, uh, even the seal is in very good condition, which is again, <laughs> I mean, uh, I cannot press enough about this, but to find a sealed copy of anything in Korea is beyond hard and to find the seal in good condition is also extremely hard um, there's only one tiny 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 maybe thing is see here there's this little little tear here but that's minimal that's minimal the rest of the tape is very beautiful and the seal as well so this will go up for sale i don't know perhaps i'll put it on my um ebay channel that i just told you about at the beginning of this video uh how much am i gonna ask for i'm probably gonna ask a shit ton of money because i'm crazy no I'm, I'm probably gonna well actually i'm probably gonna ask a lot of money because this is beyond rare uh, in this state i mean sealed um and of course the u.s copy goes for a shit ton of money so i mean come on uh yeah so I'm not, I'm not gonna lie, I'm, I'm gonna ask a lot for this one. Okay, and now it is time for the last tape. It's, it's a bittersweet one, okay? Uh, it's, it's one of those moments where, I, 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 actually I got that yesterday from the mail. Uh, I opened up the package uh, from the person I bought it from and I, I, oh my God, I cannot tell you the state of, of anger I was in. Uh, because I really hope this would be in great shape. But anyway, first of all, the movie is nine. Uh, I don't know if you ever knew that this was released on tape in South Korea, but if you had no clue, well, here is uh, the official uh, proof of it. Uh, nine, the animation, came out in South Korea on VHS. And we're looking at, let's zoom in a little bit, we're looking at December 2009. So this, of course, uh, is probably among the last animation to be released on VHS. Again, I don't have the dates in front of me. I don't, I don't keep track of that, but there was uh, the one about the chances of meatball, rain with chances of meatball, whatever, uh, which was early 2010. There's the uh, Monsters vs. Aliens that I think is also early 2010 or very late 2009, perhaps about the same date as this. There was Coraline, which was early 2010 as well. Uh, you can include in there maybe the Chip Chipmunks 2 movie, but that was like partially animation and live action. Uh, so anyway, this is part of that last batch of late animation. So that's what makes it so rare. And again, it's the first time we ever found this. Uh, again, I asked, uh, going back to Korea Disco, I asked him, he never found, he'd never seen this before. Uh, so this is the first copy we actually do find ever. Of this film so that's why it's so great now the downside of this uh, the, the maddening part of this is well you probably noticed it I don't need to say but look at the condition it's 
not good. Uh, by that I mean, of course, the sleeve, because the cassette is kind of okay, uh, but the sleeve is, is oh my God. Uh, I, I, I was pissed because I paid a lot of money for this. Uh, I shouldn't have. I mean, if I would have seen the picture, I don't think I would have bought it. But anyway, I did. And actually, this is actually sold as we speak. Somebody bought it. Um, I, I'm not going to say if the person made the right call or not. It's not my thing because I'm not into those films. Uh, but the person probably didn't because this is extremely rare. Now let's go into the condition of the, the tape uh, to show you that for me this is usually a no-no. I would not buy a tape like this. Like even if I see something in the wild, I'll probably pass on it. Unless if it's crazy, crazy, crazy rare like this is. Uh, but if we look at the top, look at this. This is so bad. Uh, it has like water stain that shows a little bit on the front. The rest, the bottom part is fine. That's probably the only part that is okay. If you look on the spine, it is sun faded. To what level? I don't know because this is kind of blue green. So yeah, but it is sun faded. Uh, the, again, a nice planis. I, well, if you want to know, yes, it is on planis as well. Uh, the top is really bad here. There's like water damage. Uh, it looks like there's a crease here, but yeah, uh, the top here is, is all mangled, whatever, like it's, it's really bad. And I think also the corner, the corner, the back corner is actually really bad because I think this had water damage. It dried up and it, it, it's all like brittle. It all came, came apart. Uh, by the way, it was like that. It didn't come off like when I pulled out the sleeve of the case. And by the way, this came out, this came out, this came in a red case. So it wasn't even the original case. I had to change it with one that I had that was like super clean to make the whole thing look much better. Uh, but wait, it's, it's not all. Okay, so the cassette is fine. Like I said, I cleaned it up, but it was already fine to start with. So I guess, uh, yeah, anyway. Uh, so look at this, this is, I, I'm not gonna pull out the sleeve because again, this is already sold. I don't want to damage it or anything, but you can tell it's really bad. And this brown tape, okay, duct tape, whatever that is at the top, I didn't put that there. It was already there. And I don't want to try to remove it because uh, no, all right? It's, this, it's just gonna damage it further and it's just gonna be beyond bad at this point. It's already bad, but it's just gonna be terrible. Uh, yeah, the cassette is fine. Uh, I did check the playback, it's okay. Just maybe the trailer at the beginning has like a bit of lines, but uh, after that, the movie itself is fine. So at least there's that. Um, so yeah, if you look at it like this, you may think, yeah, it's not too bad. Again, it's because I put it in a nice sleeve, uh, but it is bad. Again, it's not something that I would normally buy at all. And for the price I paid, I was, like I said, beyond pissed off. Um, yeah. And that goes, I mean, I don't want to start a rant about, you know, Korean sellers or anything, but the guy that sold that to me, uh, which is kind of a shop slash collector, um, doesn't provide any photos because you, you're probably wondering, well, you saw like a picture of it. Why the hell did you buy that? Well, he doesn't provide photos. He just provides pictures of a poster of the film. So it's a wild guess. And then you would ask me, I'm sure, and rightfully so, well, why didn't you text him, email him, asking him to send you photos? Well, I did. And he refused. <laughs> so this is the level of nonsense we're dealing with here in South Korea. Again, I'm, I'm gonna throw his name in this video again, but Korea Disco has to deal with the same bullshit as me uh, that I'm just telling you right now. Uh, it's not fun. It's, it's quite infuriating at some level. Um, but yeah, it's the whole, all those things that you guys, if you buy from me or from him, you don't need to deal with this bullshit because we dealt with it already. So you see the tapes we're selling, we show you everything that like how it is and you make the call on if you want to buy it or not. Uh, but if you had to go through, let's say, a proxy or, or someone else you know in Korea and say, hey, buy this for me, you don't know it. You may get this and pay a shit ton of money, right? So yeah, there you go. So anyway, guys, this is all I have for you today. So yeah, we had this number nine that I think no one else, uh, I mean, that no one ever seen before. It's probably just a premiere for this video, which is great. The Kung Fu Panda, the English version, quite rare now, actually not to say extremely rare now. 
um, this dense movie, street, I was going to say street trash, street uh, dense, 3D, nothing too mind-blowing, but the fact that it's 2010 is quite interesting alone in itself. Uh, Abducted Bride slash aka the um, Sinful Dwarf, super rare a cult film, super happy to have that, and of course the person who bought it. And finally Cars, a sealed copy which is again beyond rare. So even though it's only five tapes for today, it's quite impressive stuff. That's why I decided to make this video, because usually I would, you know, show you 10, 20 tapes. So on today is just a small, small video. And still it's 25 minutes long. So let's cut, let's cut this short. Uh, that's all I have for you today. Hope you liked the video. Subscribe, like, leave a comment. If you have questions, request anything, uh, it's always a pleasure to read and uh, reply to your comments. Thank you guys and have a great weekend.